Alrighty, coaches, this is for Monday the 13th. Um, we are diving into a deload week. Um, so it's going to be important that through this next entire week, that we're helping people understand the purpose of coming in and what we're doing. Deload does not mean simple. It does not mean easy. It doesn't necessarily mean that um, we're going to have less volume. Um, what it does mean is we're taxing ourselves, or we should be taxing ourselves a little bit less in regards to our central nervous system. So today on our snatch technique, the idea behind it is no one should be struggling. Um, this is not a day to let people um, go up and wait as they're feeling good. This is not a day to let somebody try to max because they didn't be able to make it last Monday. Um, this is just not a day to push ourselves on our snatch. The idea behind today's snatch is, is exactly what it says in the title of it, snatch technique. Um, we should be driving home the ability for our athletes to, to be doing everything that we've been building up through the last 10 weeks. This should be simple, this should be easy. Every single time that somebody's getting it overhead, it should not look hard or difficult for them. We really want to try to stay within about or stay under 75%. Um, you should be cueing, um, uh, being resilient with those cues, making sure that they attack those cues, um, find better cues if they're not working, help your members through the snatch technique to feel really confident in that 75% or less weight. And really, I emphasize the less today. Um, there really is no reason to get heavy. The minute that you still see any of your members struggling, please make sure to take, help them take the weights off um, and try to eliminate that ego within um, there. And, and I don't mean to say ego that everyone's got that, but let's just make sure that they understand the purpose and that you're doing your best to help do that with them. Then for our workout today, um, for Jack Sparrow, we're gonna be getting on the rings. We're doing high skill gymnastics into some front squats and some lunging. We've been doing a lot of this lunging or quad dominant work um, so let's make sure that these are just really um, dialed in, that we're feeling good. We're breathing is going to be a big key through each of these movements. Um, but with the, the high skill gymnastics, just no matter where they're based at for their levels, um, make sure to help them attack it appropriately, um, that they don't need to feel like it needs to be unbroken, um, but really making sure that, that they're creating manageable sets to be done in an appropriate amount of time. We don't want to spend a lot of time on the gymnastics but if we have the right weight that we can manage within those levels for the, the squats and the lunges, um, we will definitely be able to um, manage that, that gymnastics to get within the time domain today. So help people find the best that they can. This week, we will have a lot of time to help in both the, the lifts that we do and within uh, the, the Metcons. So let's make sure to find something to help improve um, the majority of our classes be prepared with things for muscle ups for those that maybe your class has a majority of people that can do muscle ups to chest the bar to pull up whatever ring rows to help your athletes um, better themselves as they come out of that Metcon and feel a lot more prepared going into it. Good luck coaches.